Hi F2Ps, it's Goodfellow from F2P.com and today we are checking out Hazard Ops. Um, you may know this game um, under a different title depending where in the world you're from. Um, in China it's known as Mercenary Ops 2 and North America it's known as Zombies Monsters Robots. But it's developed by Yingpei Games and uh, Hazard Ops is the European counterpart. So we are currently checking out the closed beta access. The game is a third person shooter with PvP and PvE scenario slash wave um, gameplay modes. Um, lots of uh, customization with your gear and loadouts. We are currently in uh, that particular screen. And this is a first look video, so I've not really kind of checked out the game too much. Um, just had a little run around, clear through the tutorial modes so that you don't have to worry about watching that kind of thing. Um, and now we're just going to have a little quick check out of the uh, of the loadouts before we try and do a bit of I don't know, PvP, hopefully. So you can pick a primary weapon, you can pick uh, your secondary weapon, um, which can be exact. You know, it, it, you, you're choosing from the same pool as your uh, your normal weapons. Uh, you get a sidearm, get different grenades, and we can have um, extra unit stuff. So, uh, given the um, actual account that we've been given access to, we have some uh, tokens to spend, which is great. Um, so, you've got different currencies. I'm not quite sure how they marry up. What's premium currency, what's in-game currency, and I don't know. What that stuff is. So we're um, we're gonna check out some more. What do these do? So a grenade pack will be fun, I think. And they have got uh, level requirements, but I think they're all level one for these items, so it's not too bad. Um, I don't know what's the difference between these two grenade packs. I'm thinking nothing. So I might. Oh, I think I actually have one. Oh, okay, so that was just showing my top thing there. Um, so locked. So you can visit the store to buy an unlocked item. Uh, uh, well, we'll not we'll not do that now. Um, deluxe mag loader, great increases reload speed. Uh, increases maximum health by 50%. Uh, increases maximum. Okay, so that's the same thing by looking at it. So let's let's go for the deluxe mag loader. Let's try that out. So that's our main loadout. You can have different loadouts. So when you die, you can jump back in quickly with. Uh, different stuff but I'm, I'm not too bothered about it so um, so this armor advanced engineers hardcore oh yeah well, let's go for that one that looks cool nice I like that guy so that's just, that's just your costume so you can wear whatever you like um, and I think this is all I've got at the moment so we'll equip that uh, oh no we won't I don't know what the difference is between costumes and gear because neither of them appear to have stats but that looks cooler so we're gonna stick with that so you can actually add mods to your items. So um, we are currently equipped with the SMG as our main weapon. So I'm not sure whether I can modify that. So we've still got some little tweaky little thingies. This is closed beta, like I said. So um, you kind of will find that there's some issues here and there, no doubt, um, as they still rename stuff. But that's completely as we expected. It's closed beta. Um, it's, you know, it's not even open beta yet. Um, so I don't know. We can we could try that. Um, AR baffle silencer. I don't know whether it'll actually go on to um, our current weapon. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. It, it'd be odd if I don't. Know, I don't know. Who knows? All items. So you've got all the other stuff that you can get here. Suppression field turret. Our scientist tells that field generated by this turret reverses the polarity on da 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 da. Press V to choose turret and left click to place it. That might be quite cool. But I don't know how we would get that. Anyway, so that's generally. So you've got your locker, and you've got different missions that you get. So you get daily missions for killing lots of monsters and. And playing for a certain amount of time, racking up kills and stuff. You've got different clans. You've got some ranked matches, which we're not going to play ranked matches. Um, and then you've got the war room, um, which I will presume. Actually, let's. What have we got here? Avatar, personal info. Okay, that's not interesting to me at all. So let's jump back into the war room. 
And we have Elimination and Team Deathmatch. So, um, I guess we can uh, try out one of these games. So they look like they're actually already in a fight because that's just Elimination. Um, so I think that's just kind of constantly fighting each other maybe. So we can, uh, let's try that out. And we're going to go with Goodfellow. So these guys, <laughs> I'm an intern. These guys are level 18, level 10. Wow. Okay. So it's a fairly balanced <laughs> fight. I don't know whether it does any kind of game balancing or anything like that. So we'll see. Okay. So let's see. So you press spacebar to run. And you can do typical stuff like taking cover and rolling around from cover and that kind of thing. So we're going to try and keep up with uh, with our our guys. Well, so we've got red dot on the map top left. Gotcha. I don't think I can res people, so you can sometimes. Oh my, that's good. I want to take. I want to use this. Do I start with it? Ah, oh, no, I don't. Shame. On the minigun, man. So I'm gonna stick with this player. So yeah, you can press spacebar. Oh, I move really slow with the minigun, obviously, so... That person is just uh, playing campus pampers, so we're going to try and just maybe sneak around to the other side, if I can work out the map. Yeah. So, I'm on Team A, I guess? This is more and more people are, are joining into the game now, so that's cool. engagement going on over here. Boom! Crunched! Have some of that. I think like... Oh! They came from the other side. Brilliant. Well, they're all about the running and jumping. Nice. Woo! One minute left in the game. Oh. Doesn't look like we're going to uh, win this one. So this is the only player left on our team. And he or she has no idea where this enemy is, I think. Ooh! Ouch! Ouch! <laughs> That's pretty cool. So yeah, you've got a melee attack which you use with F. Uh, okay, let's see how we go this time. I'm going to try out my uh, my other weapon. Go a bit sniperish. Really slow reload time on this though. The only problem is that because you use space bar. Run! It, it, it's 
uh... Because oh. you use space bar to run. If you run into a wall, it instantly puts you into cover, which is kind of annoying because coming off it, you have to kind of still use space bar again, so you end up kind of running on and off it. See, I think I got shot before they even come out then, so I'm going to call lag on that one. Oh, they had some real kind of looking around the corner capabilities there. Oh dear. Oh dear. Blue team, not that great. <laughs> so I got one kill streak. One kill, four deaths. Can't complain with that. Or can I? Well, I probably could. So you get XP when you... Um, I don't know whether it's just whether you play. Uh, I'm going to jump back in. Get another game. And then we'll check out the PV wave mode. So it looks like lots of cover here. But this is a really long mouse. So I think a sniper... Rifle really, really kind of benefit on this map. Ah, oh, no. See where there's anyone else. I didn't realise I was on uh, the blue team, <laughs> the red team for a second there, so it's kind of confusing for me. Like it's one on one, this person is just campers, pampers. It looks like our person is giving them uh, a heads up of what's going on. Congratulations, we, are the we are the winners. Huzzah for us, team. Hmm, okay. Actually gets my health up by pushing that. I'm gonna die. Ugh. Blah. Oh well. I think that guy died trying to kill me. Oh, we won. <laughs> Oh, you can't complain with that too much. Okay, so maybe going up top isn't the, the best idea. 
Or at least going up top and being up front. <laughs> so we're going to stay to the lower end now. What are you doing? Not doing too good at this one. <laughs> Nothing can help that dude throwing a grade. Although I don't know if this is friendly fire, so it might not have mattered too much. Okay, let's try going up top again. Oh. Executed again. Headshot. Be nice to see the replay of who killed you. I think it might come from down there, yeah. Your shotgun did not serve you well, I'm afraid. This <laughs> red team and blue team. <laughs> They're having a race. <laughs> it's just whoever can outlive the other one the longest. That was weird. <laughs> okay. Health restoring, that's good. I don't want to be the one that dies. But I don't want to be the one that doesn't get a kill either. Looks like we're slowly pinning him. Doesn't look like he can jump up there. Cool. Well, at least we survived that round, which is good. <laughs> do, 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 do. Dude up top. Oh, coming from behind me. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. It's a little bit hit and miss the controls sometimes. It takes some some getting used to, that's for sure. Try and get over there and heal. Uh. Oh, wow. oh did good. Yeah. Thanks. I was, was playing cover. That's what I was doing. Good job, team. 
See, we seem to be doing better when we work together. I am a rubbish shot. We have established this. Oh no! <laughs> a noble effort. Okay, so we've got two, two of our team left. And they're coming from behind you! <laughs> we just lost the battle. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it's building up a little bit. I think there's more people joining. Oh no. Oh, that was no good. Wow! <laughs> oh dear. Oh, we're losing it. We're losing it. So yeah, I think once you start working as a team, um, it gets a lot easier, but I think... Oh, man. <sighs> but once you're on your own, that's it. As soon as you stand still as well, I think, I'm learning, you, you die. And these guys are just rushing down to the other end, by the look of it. Kind of coming down as a two-man team. So I think I'm going to maybe hold back a little bit. There you go, that'll, that'll show me for popping my head around the corner. Yeah, so a little bit fast paced. Probably too fast paced for uh, me. I'm a bit of a noob. And so um, we're going to go back. Let's uh, check out um, the PvE mode if we can. Not entirely sure where we go to find it. Um. So if we go back, okay, there you go, cooperative PvE. Uh, okay, so we'll go for enter channel. Um, auto matching, why not? Let it set me up with anything. Cool. So basically, I think in general, I think you might have two different modes. There is a, um, I think there's a wave mode, and then I think there's like a scenario mode. Looks like this might be the scenario mode. Which... Yep, that's what I want, load up one. Do you have to maybe wait till the next wave or something? So one of the cool things about the game is it kind of takes on from all sorts of uh, mythology, from kind of real world mythology as well as uh, um, kind of popular culture. So you kind of face off against zombies, hydras, um, and kind of ancient pharaohs. And you go to all different um, types of uh, environments um, in the kind of larger story driven campaign. Um, but this is pretty boring that I don't get to play anything. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what the deal is. We have to wait for this round to be over. I suppose we can check other people playing for a second. Ah, okay. So we might have had to wait for the next part to be 
unlocked before we can join in. So they're progressing through the map. There we go. So now we're in. Pretty tough. You've got kind of destructible environments as well, which is cool. Oh god, I'm out of ammo. Okay, so I'm gonna try and uh, get that ammo package over there. Oh, I can't run in water. Okay. Let's see if I can pick this up. Ammo cash. And I wanted to see if I can jump over this, but. Doesn't look like anything. Okay. You're down. This isn't the ideal place to be because we're kind of stuck in slow moving water. So I'm going to see whether my. Uh whether this is going to help, whether it can like freeze them up. I think it does sort of stun. You need to stop streaking in front of people. Okay, let's keep going, keep going. Got oh, lots of ammo here, which is good. I don't know whether we can jump or whether. Okay, so it looks like we can go forward. Wasn't too sure. Careful. Try and wipe out this big dude. And by big dude, I mean dudes. That are taking up a hell of a lot of ammo. Keep on pushing, keep on pushing. See much. Okay, I think we're good again. I think we're good. Dude. 
Ups, that we got him. Yeah. So moving on through. So like I said, there's kind of destructible environments and there's kind of like unique ways to use the environment, but I don't know what they are. <laughs> I suppose it comes with like familiarity with uh, the maps and whatnot. Oh. I want to see if I can blow these barrels up ah, ah! as he picks them up. Oh. Uh oh. Ain't looking too good there. I gotta base myself for a second. Up top. Oh. Ah, so you can blow them up. Okay, that's cool. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Can't move, I can't move. Oh my lord. <sighs> this guy is right. Okay, tell me I'm back. I've got a little bit intense, a little bit quickly. Whew. Looks like I've survived that one, just about. Whoa. What the heck is going on? Killing each other out there, I think. Some more ammo. Oh my god. Did someone just throw a grenade on me? Hundred and one seconds till auto kick? What the heck? Oh, they're like exploding ones now, they were dropping bombs on us. Excellent. I don't know, can I not get rezzed? What's going on? I'm not entirely sure what's going on here. That's the dude that really was causing us some issues. Oh, it looks like they might have respawned as well. Well, I don't know what the deal is yet. I don't know whether people can resume. Oh, maybe that's the next part and I'm in? Oh, no. I guess not. Well, sir.
to arsehole kick? I don't know, I'm being arsehole kicked out of the thing. Well, that really sucked. Um, not quite the ending I was looking for, but there you go, that gives you uh, <laughs> at least an overview on what the PvE and the PvP has to offer. So, pretty fun game. Um, kind of lots of action to it. And um, definitely um, worth checking out. Obviously, it is in closed beta um, for the European release. I believe that. Um, well, given that it's kind of playing on um, three different continents, um, and I presume they're all going to be using the same updates and stuff like that, so they're probably all going to be released around about the same time, I imagine. So. I can't see it being that long until the game is accessible for everybody to play. So I would say definitely worth checking out. Um, very fun. Once you get used to the controls, it does start to get a little bit easier. Um, so hopefully you found the video enjoyable. Uh, as usual, if so, give us a like and thumbs up. And hit the subscribe button if you want to check out more of our videos. Um, we constantly have closed beta access um, gameplay videos. And if you check us out on our social media pages on Facebook and Twitter at F2PCom, then you can keep an eye out for updates on articles, reviews, interviews, and any giveaways that we are currently doing. So, thank you again for watching. I've been Goodfellow. You have been you. This has been Hazard Ops, and we'll hopefully see you in the next video.